Today's video is about power. How to include some power training in your program. And if you've followed me for any length of time, you know that I've included power in all of my Brick House Bones videos because of how important it is to have that speed component to our strength. That speed that allows us to get our foot out in front of us in a timely manner if we are going to have a potential fall. And if we don't train power, we lose it. Just like anything else as we get over, if we don't train strength and balance, it will be less over time. So we need to train power too. Well, what is power? Power is strength plus speed. It's changing the tempo of how we do things. And it can be things like sprinting, skipping, running, jumping, but we don't necessarily start there. And power isn't necessarily a great place to start. So just watch and learn. And I always advise that you start with your trainer and build up the strength basis and build up with beginning power exercises before you get to the more advanced ones. But let me show you how I include power with my clients. So, First off, if I have somebody that is doing a sit to stand exercise, assuming that they're a beginner and we're beginning to work on strength, being able to come up, perhaps we have weights with this that we're doing our sit to stand exercise, slow and controlled like you see me doing. When I want to incorporate power with that client, my cue will change. So my instructions will be this. Now I want you to stand up and sit down 10 times as quickly as you can. So suddenly that slow movement becomes a little faster. As quickly as you can creates that increased tempo that we're looking for that is a little bit more explosive movement. We tend to stop doing that. So that's a great beginner way to do it. Now we also know that jumps are power. So any jumps, a box jump, a, a, a squat jump, any jumps are going to be power, but we may not be starting there. So how do you start and train for that? Well, I will load the spring slowly, explode up onto the toes. Load the spring, explode up onto the toes. So that's a beginner way to start to build the speed necessary to rise up off the ground without having to do an actual jump. So that's the beginning. I might start to add some little hops once we get better at our explosiveness. Little hops. Then we'll do something with our dumbbells. So kettlebell swings are a power move. Dumbbell cleans and dumbbell snatches. So let's go over the dumbbell clean right now. So these are explosive because it's a hip hinge movement. So we come back into the hinge, we load the spring, and then the explosiveness is that snap of the hips up till we're straight again. It's not a back bend. So we load the spring, we explode the weights up till they come up to our shoulder. And you may be able to curl a certain amount of weight, but when we do speed, when we add power, we reduce the weight that we use. Okay? So a dumbbell clean looks like this. It's slower on the way down and explosive on the way up. So that's a dumbbell clean. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me do some of that. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Lisa. I'm a physical therapist and a specialist in osteoporosis and bone health exercise. So a dumbbell snatch is also a hinge. We hinge back with the weight in the center of our body. We use the legs still driving the hips forward the same way. We pull the weight up like a zipper and pop it up overhead. So a dumbbell snatch looks like this. It's an explosive move. The way down isn't fast, but the way up is. Okay, dumbbell snatch. I teach it in part of the 52 week brick house bones series. It's towards the end of the series because it's a more advanced move, right? We can do box jumps, that's explosive, that's power. We can do speed box step overs. All of that adding speed to the strength component will make a difference. Last one and one of my favorite ones is a push press. So we have our strict press, pressing the weight straight overhead, our shoulder press, but a push press, we do a small dip. 
you know, everybody that I train, they all start to do a big dip. It's not a squat to a press, which is a thruster. It's just a dip. So dip, explode, return, dip, explode. So we load the spring just a little bit, and then like a jack in the box, we pop the weight overhead. Dip and explode. So there it's faster, right? It feels really good when we train this way. It allows us to move more quickly. We feel more powerful and it will help us as we're out in our environment and we need to respond without thinking. This kind of training helps us to do that. If you like this video, please leave me a comment below. And if there's something you want me to do a video on, I would love to hear about it. Thank you for watching.